This is the best body cream for the price. Hey guys, getting right down to business. We are going to get into the five best body creams, period. No matter the fragrance that I choose, I can literally use some of these body creams with everything. Some of them are sweat proof. Yes, I said sweat proof. These are my hidden gems and these are the five best body creams on the market period. So every time that I go out to pick up personal hygiene items, skincare, body care products, I usually get the same thing. I am a creature by habit. So if it works out for me, I definitely keep repeating what I'm purchasing. I guess I would start from cheapest to most expensive because I have some from low to high. So we're going to get right into these. So this first one is tried and true. I have literally been using this for years. This is a Nivea body cream intensive moisturizing with deep moisture serum. This body cream is superb. This body cream is for any fragrance, any fragrance. You can put this on and you will be hydrated as well as smelling good throughout the day with this intensive moisturizer. When I really don't have anything to do, I usually will just put on my intensive moisturizer. So this is an everyday type of moisturizing cream. I bought this about three months ago and I am about three fourths of the way down on this. This usually will last me pretty much about six months. So I can get six months out of this Nivea body cream. This is pretty inexpensive. It will run you from eight to $12 for this body cream. Now, as far as the lotion, I really don't do the Nivea lotion since I've discovered the body cream. It's thicker, a little bit more slip to it and it lasts longer. 48 hour fast absorbing deep moisture care. So if you are dry, I mean dry, she is your friend. This is one of the best body creams on the market today. And again, this one is Nivea Intensive Moisturizing with these Moisture Serum. And this says normal to dry skin. So if you had dry skin, here you go. But she is definitely one of the best in my collection. This next one I particularly use on my legs and feet because my feet gets dry, I mean dry, dry. So I have to really, really moisturize when it comes to my feet, elbows, knees, stuff like that, where it's really, really dry. I won't put this all over my skin because I think it actually overdoes <laughs> when it comes to moisturizing. I think it's better for the feet in really, really dry areas. But this is my Dirty Works Softy, the Big Softy. This is perfect for feet. I mean, perfect. This has been a staple in my collection as well. It's shea and cocoa butter in one corner and macadamia and sweet almond oil in the other corner. These guys pack one heck of a moisture punch. Yes, it does. There is also a body scrub to the Big Softy. I have it in my shower. I have quite a collection of body scrubs as well. That will be in another video because today we're focusing on the actual body creams. The reason I only put this on my feet and stuff like that is because of the scent. This does not pair well with a lot of fragrances. This is more for like almondy scents, sweet perfumes. So if I want to wear a fresh fragrance, I definitely couldn't put this on with it. I probably could, but I don't know what it would smell like. Like I said, I'm a creature by habit and I like to stick to things that really work for me and that I know will perform. So maybe one day I might try it, but as of today, no, I have not. This is perfect for feet, especially if you have dry feet, honey. This will run you anywhere from 10 to $20. So for this to be a 400 ml jar, I've had this for about a year. I have about 25% remaining from this jar and it's been about a year. So I would give this maybe a year and a half. So one jar of this for a year and a half is very good. This will be my second time ever owning this Dirty Works, the Big Softy. Very good for dry areas of the, of the body, the feet, the elbows, the knees, stuff like that. Perfect for that. Also what I do to moisturize my feet with this is I add, this is the coconut milk. It is coconut oil, you guys, but it's in the solid form. And this stuff lasts for a long time. And I usually mix this with my, the Big Softy. And when I tell you my feet is moisturized, glowing, 
glistening, all of that, okay? When I take my baths, I add the Big Softy with a dime size amount of this Kapari coconut melt, moisturize my feet with it, and I usually put on my bedtime socks, and when I wake up, my feet is like butter. I mean like butter. So this Kopari coconut melt is very good to mix with any of these body creams. If you want the body cream to actually last longer, which they do perform well on their own, but if you want them to last longer, you can definitely mix these the coconut melt with any of your body creams. And that is the recipe for success when it comes to moisturized skin. Again, this one is from Kapari and this is called Coconut Melt. This one next, you guys, I should have saved this one for last, but I'm gonna put it in order of price. Now, this one I just recently discovered, and this one is from the Scottish Fine Soaps Company, and this one is called Olay. Thank you guys for helping me out with the pronunciation when it came time to this product. But this one is Olay from the Scottish Fine Soaps. It's a body butter. I bought this about two months ago and I am literally more than halfway done with this. This is hands down the best body cream in this price point. I kid you not. I prep my bath, you guys, and I sit this next to my tub because I know as soon as I get out, I'm putting this on. This is beautiful and this lasts and it makes your skin soft. I could not believe how luxurious my skin felt once I got into the bed. It smells really nice. It's not overpowering. It leaves this scent of like, like a baby oil, but a mature baby oil, a soft, creamy scent. It's so unique and it lasts and it makes the skin soft. So this is one that I will take with me on vacation. This is one that I will wear on a regular basis. This is something that I will forever have in my collection. And I do have a backup bottle. There were two at TJ Maxx and I just bought both of them not knowing how they will perform. I just wanted to try and I said, if I like it and I go back, it might be gone. So I just went ahead and bought both jars and I'm so glad that I did because when I find something that works really, really well, I immediately look at the jar to see if there's a web address or I'll look at the brand and I'll Google the brand to see if I can actually repurchase this. Once you find things at TJ Maxx, if you don't get them, if you try to go back, they'll be gone. It's like here today, gone tomorrow type of thing when you're dealing with TJ Maxx. After the first use, I immediately Google search this. You guys, they actually have a website. And when I tell you, this body cream is sold out on their website. As I was editing this video, I happened to check to see if the Olay Body Butter was back in stock. And yes, it is back in stock. There are only four items left. I'm going to add two to my cart so I can purchase. Now, this is in the UK, but they ship to the United States. At this point, I am going to order two and have it shipped to me in the US. So there should be two remaining, or if they add any more, that would be great. And when I also mentioned this in one of my TJ Maxx hauls, there were so many comments regarding this body cream that this is the bomb and I had no idea. And I totally agree. This is the best at this price point. Put them lotions down, honey. The Vaseline's, the Olay's, and I'll put this stuff down. This is luxurious. This is almost like niche quality, but not quite, but almost, but it's still very, very good. And I would literally pay $30, $40 for a jar of this. I kid you not because of how this makes my skin feel, how soft this makes my skin and the smell lasts. I can still smell it on my skin in the morning. It smells so good. And also your partner will appreciate how good you smell in the bed and how soft your skin is. So this is my top recommendation, but this is also a staple in my collection now. If you're interested, it does run about $13, $14, but well worth $14, $13, $14, I'll tell you. I'll pay $40 for this. It's that good to me. Once I crack the backup jar, I'm going to order me another one because I don't want to run out, and I'm afraid that if it sells out, if it sells out, I will have a couple of jars on hand that I can use It would last me. So I am here in two months. I am 
literally at the bottom of the jar in two months. So I need to use this a little bit more sparingly so it will last me or I need to go ahead and order maybe two more jars. I love it that much. This is my staple body cream for after my bath, literally. I don't wanna grab anything else before I go to bed besides this one. Hands down, the best body cream at this price point. And again, this one is from the Scottish Fine Soaps Company, and this is this one is called Olay Body Butter, and it has the cow on the front of it, you guys. Definitely try this body cream if you have not done so. Thank me later. Okay, let's move on. So these next body creams are more expensive. These are my niche body creams. And I do have a couple of them from the House of Vine number nine. But this one is my Madison Square Park. And you guys, I freaking love this body cream. Now, Vine number nine creams are luxurious. If you buy them off the website, of course, they will run you the more of the 130. If you get them from Vine number nine, or if you get them from Saks Fifth Avenue or Neiman Marcus, Bloomingdale's, and all of those higher end shops. And they do run around between 120 and 130, somewhere around there but you guys it is worth the price the slip on these body creams they are luxurious this is when you really get into the luxury Vine number nine does an amazing job on their body creams and even scent matching they are dead on to the scent that is what i really really love about the Vine number nine creams i have three i have the madison square park i have nolita and I also have Bryant Park. Now, the downside of the these more niche body creams are they are dead onto the scent. So it's not something you can really wear with a lot of different type perfumes. Now, you can actually wear fragrances that are of similar genre. Like as far as the Madison Square Park, I can wear this one with my Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey. You can wear this with any fresh perfumes. Another fresh fragrance is from Aqua Di Gioa. You can wear that. Just any fresh green type fragrance, you can actually pair it with this. It is very limiting, but if you really, really love the scent, of Madison Square Park or Aqua Di Gioa or any other really fresh green scent, this will be a perfect buy. You can wear the niche body creams alone. You don't need to really add fragrance to them, but they are so moisturizing and so luxurious that sometimes I do wear them alone, especially when I don't wanna be over scented. And what I mean by over scented is where I literally touch something and I'm leaving that scent on it. To me, sometimes that can become cloying, could be annoying. That's being over scented in my opinion. I just want to my fragrance to kiss the surface sometimes, a little bit more downplayed that I can wear more casually every day, not head turning beast mode, not all the time. When I want it to really be, okay, I'm out there, okay, I have on Medicine Square Park, I will actually spray the fragrance and put on the body cream. But this body cream can stand its ground on its own very good quality, luxurious, excellent slip, deep moisturization. This one is a lot thicker than the Nivea and also the Olay. This is a lot thicker. So a little bit does go a long way. These hold true to the price. These are actually worth the price. I did actually pay for price for this body cream, but that's okay because of how well this performs when I want to smell a really, really high quality niche. I would definitely layer my body cream. So the Bond Number Nine body creams are really, really luxury, gorgeous, moisturizing body creams. Definitely worth the price. Scent is dead on. Very, very good body creams. And also, if you do not want to pay for the perfume, you could just buy the body cream. The Bond Number Nine body creams are very true to the actual perfumes. If you don't want to dish out, you can find the body cream or get the body cream sometimes. They are heavily discounted. Sometimes they're not. But when they are heavily discounted, you want to jump on it. You guys, again, this one is um, the Madison Square Park body cream. Hands down, the best, one of the best body creams on the market. Okay, last but definitely not least, this body cream. You guys, I have talked about this on several occasions. I made a video about this, and once I made the video, it sold out. And you guys, I was not surprised. I was actually rooting for you guys to get this body cream, especially at that price it was selling for at that particular time. You guys actually went ahead and you sold that body cream out. 
and it is none other than Puffles de Marley Delina. This Delina body cream, I've had this for a little over a year, year and a half, something like that. And I am about, I would say, Mm, one fourth of the way down. This is how good this is. Whenever I wear Delina, I always put on the body cream and my scent lasts for hours. That is just how long it lasts. As far as the quality, this is pure luxury. This is pure luxury. I would not wear this to bed because it's too potent. It's too strong. If I put this on my body and I get into my bed, you guys, my whole side of the bed would be smelling like Delina. And I don't want my bed to smell like Delina. I want my bed to smell like Rhonda, not Delina, okay? This is just a little bit too much for my preference in, in fragrance or nightly fragrance. So definitely not a bedtime for me but maybe for you it may work well so the quality in this case is what's the main important thing when it comes to this body cream so this is a good cream for the delina line la rose and the delina exclusive if you have those fragrances you can definitely pair the body cream and if you don't have any of those and you really like Delina, I will suggest getting the body cream because the body cream smells exactly like the fragrance, but the body cream is a moisturization product. Parfums de Marley did an amazing job on their body cream. Will they create more body creams for their other fragrances? I would hope so, at least maybe one other body cream because I will definitely be here for that. But this is the cream of the crop when it comes to body creams. This is luxurious. Comparing this with bottom number nine, they're in the same realm. One is not better than the other. I think both of these products are really, really good, except for the Delina body cream that has a little bit more liquidity to it than the Bond. The Bond is a little bit more solidified, but it's still very good. I've had this for over a year and a half now, and I'm literally only down one fourth. And I use this every time I put on the perfume. You guys, of course, I will have it linked. I found it for half that price. Yes, it's authentic and all of that. I found it for half that price. I would definitely link it down below if you do not have this body cream. Definitely well worth the price. So check it out. If you love the scent of Delina, definitely check this out. Smells rosy, root barb, tart, spicy, just like the fragrance. Amazing if you love Delina. Definitely get your hands on this Delina body cream. Best out there. Again, this one is Delina Body Cream from the House of Parfums de Marley. So that pretty much sums up my five body creams, the best, period. Five body creams in my collection, body creams to try if you're in the market or if you're using lotion and you are just kind of tired of what you're using and you want to just up the ante, definitely try out some of these body creams. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.